Welcome to Gripment IoT. In this video, we will talk about an op amp circuit, which is the comparator circuit. So let's get right into it. To start with, we will have a normal op amp and the voltage applied to the non-inverting input we will call V plus and the voltage applied to the inverting input we will call V minus. On the supply side, we will supply the op amp with a positive voltage and on the negative supply side, we will supply it only with ground. So there will not be plus minus 15 volts or whatever you know from normal op amp circuits. We will have a plus voltage, which in our case will be five volts and a ground voltage. On the output, we will have our voltage that we will call v VO for voltage output. So before we get into the details of the different cases that we can have, let me quickly clarify two things. First of all, the voltage is defining our logic level because def depending on if one voltage is bigger or smaller than the other or vice versa, we will output a high signal or a low signal. So in our case, the low signal will be ground and the other signal will be the high signal will be five volts because what we're essentially doing is we're putting the op amp into overdrive. So we will push him to amplify to the absolute maximum, which will be in our case, the five volts then, or the absolute minimum, which will be ground. So we are not really using the ampli like the like the functionality of amplifying a signal uh, like gradually we will basically just push it to its um, to its overdrive limit on the plus or on the minus side which will be plus 12 volt or ground and thereby we were creating a clean logic level output a clean digital output which is logic level 5 volts or ground as the low uh, low level and if you would like to have a logic level of 3.3 volts you can just supply the op amp with 3.3 volts Actually, it should be a little bit more than what your what your desired logic level is, because the op amp itself will also eat a little bit of a uh, of voltage. But this you will find in the data sheet. So let's get started with the rules, basically. So in case or the cases, in case that V plus is bigger than V minus, this will result in the output switching to the positive voltage to V s to our supply voltage. This is the first case. The second case obviously is V plus being smaller than V minus and this will be resulting in the output voltage to jump to ground. So that's the second case. So thereby we have only those two cases and thereby we have only this very digital logic level of five or ground. But let's move on to some examples. Let's assume in the first case we will have a V plus of two volts and let's say V minus is 1.5 volts. So what a comparator is going to do, it's, it will compare those two inputs and it will realize that V plus is obviously bigger than V minus. So that's our case. And depending on this case, we are in the first case, in the red case, the VR, VO, the output voltage will jump now to the supply voltage, which is five volts. So don't be confused. It will not be the biggest input voltage, like two volts or something. It will be always the plus supply voltage, the positive supply voltage. So in our case, the five volts. Now let's move on to the second case. Let's assume V plus is 1.7 volts and V minus is 2.1 volts. So now actually the circumstance has changed. So V plus is now smaller than V minus. So we have the blue case. So the output will jump to ground 0, 0.0 volts. And that's already all you need to know about a comparator or the op amp in the comparator circuit. It's very useful to build like little logic gates and it's very simple as you see, you don't need any external components like resistors or something like with the other well-known op amp circuits. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please let me know down in the comments what type of applications you see for this op amp circuit as a comparator and also stay tuned for the next video where we will have an experiment, a lab session, where we will work with a comparator circuit and some LEDs to see a little bit how it's reacting and how it's behaving in the real world. So thanks for watching and see you next time.